The laser is a ubiquitous lighting effect that pretty much every person who's ever been to a live music event or production is familiar with. Most of the time, DJs and small mobile companies have been forced to use more affordable Galaxian style lasers, which just shoot a bunch of green dots all around the room. It was a cool effect 10 years ago, but it's kind of getting a little bit played out. However, like much of the different lighting options available to mobile DJs and bands, the price of lasers has come down quite a bit. And now you can get something like this for a crazy good deal. This is the Shed's 6 watt RGB animation laser. It packs a ton of punch, maybe even too much punch for some scenarios in a very affordable package. And today I'm going to tell you all about it. Let's get into it. What's up everybody, welcome to the Phase Reviews YouTube channel. My name is Jordan, if you're new here, thanks for joining me. If you're a subscriber, welcome back as always. Like I mentioned in the intro, this is the Shed's six watt scanning RGB laser. It is a powerhouse in animation laser. It has a ton of amazing patterns that are enhanced when you add fog and haze, but even without, it can really wow a crowd. I'm gonna unbox it, show you what comes in the packaging, tell you about my favorite features of this product, run you through all the different menu options that are available, give you a demo of it in action, both with and without fog, and then let you know whether or not I think it's worth picking up for yourself. Before we dive into it, make sure that you like the video, leave a comment about your favorite laser product, subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any content coming in the future. But without any further ado, let's take a look at the Shed's six watt laser. So first things first, let's do the unboxing. I'm happy to report that this laser comes boxed not once, not twice, but triple boxed. Uh, so this is extremely well protected. Uh, oh wait, let's see, one, two, yeah, triple box. Uh, so this comes extremely well packaged, covered in foam, and you're gonna get a few different things inside with the laser itself, which I have right here. And to be honest, was too big of a hassle for me to put back into the box. So you're just gonna get to see everything else that comes inside. This is a PowerCon cable locking power cord. Love to see that, especially in a fixture of this price. You're also going to get your uh, DMX cable. Uh, DMX and XLR microphone cable look the same, not quite the same, but they do include a DMX cable in the box, which is nice to see. And then of course, you're going to get your manual as well that walks you through all the different functionality. Now, speaking of functionality, this can do pretty much all of your standard lighting option, control options with one extra available. You've of course got standalone mode, which allows you to put this on an auto program, set the speed, and it will just run through its animations by itself. You have your sound active mode with adjustable sensitivity so that you can have it react to your music with the built-in microphone. You have your DMX control, which gives you a lot of flexibility over the different patterns and allows you to adjust things like the size, the speed, the orientation, things like that. And then lastly, you have your ILDA laser protocol, which is its own standalone control software that you have to get set up on a laptop or some sort of control mechanism, which allows you to unlock the true potential of this laser. Now, I'm not that deep in laser products right now. I don't have that control option, but I do have DMX. And even in the standalone or the sound active modes, it has quite a bit of awesome features that you can access without having to pull out a controller. As far as construction, it's quite a large uh, box that you've got here, not a small laser product by any means, all metal construction, which is really nice. You can see we've got this protective door right here. So if you power this up and someone's around it by accident, which you shouldn't do anyway, but if that happens, this will protect them from getting a laser in the eye. Be warned, a laser of this power, I don't know if it's truly six watts, but regardless of what it is, it is extremely powerful and it could definitely damage your eyes. I would not uh, advise setting this up anywhere and turning it on when someone could be in front of the beam and in the beam angle. If it's above people's heads and you're shooting it above the crowd, fine, but I, I'm not uh, experienced enough to do any crowd scanning with this. And I'd recommend whenever you open this that no one is around in front of the laser. So you can open this by twisting this. Uh, and that will just slide down. Inside the door, you'll see the two small mirrors that flick back and forth randomly and create the patterns. This isn't an extremely expensive laser, so it doesn't have the fastest scan rate. So the patterns are not the smoothest, but they're still quite impressive for the price. Turning this tripod this way, you'll see the side of the unit. You've got your two tightening handles here. They're very large, allow you to really crank this down so that it doesn't tilt as you're using it. 
you've got a fan on either side. There is some operating noise on this because of how powerful this laser is. It definitely needs the cooling. And then this is the back side of the unit. I'll bring the camera, zoom it in a little bit, and we'll get an up close look, not only at the ins and the outs, but also at the menu functionality as well. All right, so let's take a look at the ins and outs on this light. To the left, we've got our PowerCon input. We've also got PowerCon out for daisy chaining, a fuse and a power switch, DMX in and out, which is the three pin variety. Then you have your ILDA control, as well as some internet, eth uh, ethernet connections right here. To the right, we have the screen, the microphone for sound active, and our one button control knob that has both twist functionality and click functionality. Okay, so let's kind of zoom in and take a look at the menu options. Let's kind of zoom this in a bit here. Oh yeah, there we go. So. Uh, if I cycle through with this knob, you're going to see the four main submenus, DMX 512, Auto, Music, and ILDA. Now, these share a lot of the same settings. There's a few exceptions, but let's start with DMX, for example. Um, function mode just takes you back to the main menu. So going down the show listing, you can control what shows are available to program on, what shows will be playing, and how they're playing, such as are they looping or are they random. Then you can get into your DMX address setup, which allows you to choose your DMX control. Uh, channel setup, we've got a normal and an expert mode just depending on how many channels of functionality you want. Laser setup, which is kind of the core of things like how fast is the scanner running, oh, let me go this way. Uh, what colors are we using, RGB versus uh, GBC versus WYPC, I don't know, whatever color palette you want to do. Um, and then going down a little further, you can invert the patterns, change the size, change the position, and then back up. Uh, general setup is just kind of your core settings menu, resetting the defaults, uh, master setup options, things like that. Now, let's back up a little bit here and go to auto mode. Again, auto will allow you to choose a set of animations. They have some kind of prepackaged uh, sets, so that will allow you to choose from that. And then going into playing show will allow you to choose individual animations uh, within all of those um, packages. Going down, play setup is the same looping, random, repeating, all that good stuff. And then you've got your laser setup and your general setup again in this menu. Now, going back to the, uh, oh, that's our address, DMX address. Going back to the main menu, you've got your music mode, which is your sound active, and then you've also got your ILDA mode if you want to control it that way. Now, I'm going to overlay some footage of this in action so that you can see some of the patterns. First from me standing behind the laser so that you can see the animations. I do have some haze in the room, but this is what it would look like if you were just relying on the patterns, you know, shooting on the ceiling or shooting above the heads of the crowd. Uh, if it's a very complicated pattern, again, the scanning functionality of this laser kind of catches up to it. And it's a little bit choppy. If it's very complicated, it gets a little bit kind of flashy and strobey. But simple lines, triangles, squares, circles look phenomenal. And even some of the animations like the flying bird, the dinosaur running, the snake uh, are very fluid and look amazing. Now, switching the laser around, uh, or the camera around to the front of the laser, excuse me, you're gonna see how this looks with uh, some fog in the air for the aerial effects. And this is where lasers like this truly shine. The liquid sky effect, the patterns that shrink and grow, uh, you know, the scanning uh, walls and, and beams and shapes uh, look absolutely amazing. The color is so rich, it's very powerful. Uh, if, you know, I have no doubts that this would shoot all the way across a large gymnasium or across the heads of hundreds of people in, a, in an outdoor crowd. Just be aware that, you know, when using these lasers, uh, you do need to follow guidelines. I, I would never shoot this down into a crowd. Um, I'm not experienced enough, and it's extremely powerful. Um, and again, if you're going to use this in any public setting, make sure you do go about it the uh, legal way. But I'm just letting this kind of run through some of these patterns, uh, just so you can see how amazing it looks from, from in front, from the side. Um, you know, it's it's smooth, it's very fluid. This is my favorite uh, program list you're seeing, which is number three. It has a lot of just general shapes uh, and lines as opposed to images. I think it looks the best for the aerial effects, but there's just so much programming flexibility that you can do with this guy. So there you have it. That is the Shed's six watt RGB animation laser. It is extremely powerful. It's very cool. It's a perfect addition if you want to add that little bit of flair to your light show and you have the right events for it. Large school dances, college events, uh, you know, big spaces where you can really let this thing loose, provided again that you know how to properly use it and you do not let it get in crowds eyes. In the US, technically you need a variance to operate one of these in any sort of public setting. Uh, you can go look up how to do that. Um, I'm not an expert on that. This is for my personal use. But if you want to kind of go down that rabbit hole, just make sure that you do it 
in the appropriate manner. But all in all, I'm very happy to recommend the Shed's 6 watt RGB scanning laser. Uh, it functioned phenomenally for me. The output is incredible. The patterns look great and it's definitely worth checking out. So I'll include a link down in the description. You can go check it out through there. Bye if you want to support the channel. I'd of course love you for it. If you're not going to pick one of these up, no worries. Just like the video, leave a comment, subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any content coming in the future. That's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.